So on the next page, there's a question for you. I'll just reveal the question for you. Got parents sleeping tonight, and I'm absolutely knackered because I couldn't sleep last night. So it'll be an interesting one. Right, so that's the question. So follow that through. Make sure it's okay. There, you can see everything, can't you? Okay, there we go. Please make sure you do that. Right, next one then. So example two. So I've got an equation. So it says use that iterative formula. Uh, so x1. So x1 is 3.5. So I need to. So x2 will be 2 plus log of 3.5 plus 1. So on my calculator. There you go. Oh, come on. Let's do the things over there. There. You can delete that. So I've got 3.5, and then I'm doing 2 plus ln bracket, answer plus 1, close bracket. So 3.504, what's it asking, what's it asking for? Three decimal places. Uh, I'm going to look at 1x, let's have a look, so three decimal places. So, oh, come off, oh, I keep losing it. Uh, 3.504 to three decimal places. So the next one, if I press exit, 3.505. Next one, if I press exit, 3.505. There. So to three decimal places, alpha is 3.505 to three decimal places, because that's what I've got to three decimal places. Uh, so it says write down your answers a little bit more. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, justify it. So part B for justifying. We're going to go with, got to go either side. So I'm looking at 3.5045 through to 3.5055. So f of 3.5045 is <laughs> minus 2.597 times 10 to the minus 3. An f of 3.5055 is 9.0627 times 10 to the minus 4. So that's less than 0, that's greater than 0. So the function's continuous. And there's a change of sign. I'm sure my writing's getting worse. In the interval. 3.5045 so the root is 3.505 to be fair in the exam questions I've done in the past I've not asked you to do this bit but it's just nice to check the bounds out I guess right so I'll stop us there again so lots of shorter ones and we'll talk about um, staircase and cobweb in a minute okay bye bye